Welcome back into Twin Cities Live. So our afternoon celebration of Irish recipes continues with our Monday night meal. So J.D. Fratsky is the corporate chef at Daily in Daroma in Plymouth, and he joins us with an Irish creation that has been on a few menus at some of his restaurants. J.D., welcome in. Good Thank to you see very you. Much. I feel very welcome. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, cilantro, cheers in Irish. So. I love it. Uh, really happy to be here and uh, make you guys uh, kind of a variation of a couple of different Irish dishes that I've had before. So. And you have some Irish heritage. I do. Uh, my mother's side, the family name was Neelan, and uh, two Mays ago, my sister and my mother and I went to Ireland on a heritage tour. Oh, uh, ended up that. in County Clare, found out where our family had been from. Um, it was really, really pretty powerful, and it was kind of cool. We were with the guy who gave us the tour said, uh, you know, J.D., despite all the things that the Irish people have been through and the, the great migration, you know, when families from America come back to Ireland, it's proof to us that we've persevered. Oh, mm. my god! So it was a pretty, pretty cool, pretty powerful moment. It was Listen, I don't have any Irish descent, and when I went there, I it's felt perfect. that same. I know, but I, <laughs> I did feel a real connection. Like, I felt like the Irish people really love Americans, which yeah. felt great. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like, I was like, this is yeah. so foreign and wonderful that you right. think we're great. But no, it's, it is. It's an incredibly welcoming place. And Irish hospitality is, you know, uh, world or world renowned, I should say. So, yeah. Um, but again, that's one of the reasons to prepare dishes like this. What's so, going in here? So, um, again, so I'm taking a dish called Col Cannon, which uh, is typically a mix of root vegetables and greens, a little bit of flour, or, mm. sorry, and uh, and butter. Uh, buttermilk, and then it's almost kind of like an Irish mashed potatoes with root vegetables and then greens added to it. And then I'm turning it into what they also call boxty, which are potato pancakes. Oh, yeah. So oh, yes. it's kind of a mix of the two. Um, so what we got right here is uh, potatoes and carrots that have been boiling for a while. Um, ben, I got my fancy apron on again with all the secret spots in it. Yeah, yeah you got all your secret compartments. Exactly. So you're going to cook these potatoes. That's why I had it at such a rolling boil until they're pretty much mush. Oh. Okay. And, and it's, you dice them small like that so they just base, they can get mushier faster, right? Absolutely. And yeah. some of them are grated. Yep. And that's, well, that's also why we, uh, we shred the carrots that are in there, too. Okay. Slated carrots. Okay. Because, you know, orange, white, green, Irish flag, you know. We oh, well, there. Yeah, so, uh, everything's connected. So exactly. So we, we, got this, uh, we got this going on, and I'm going to crack an egg in a bowl. Okay. Now typically you'd let um, you'd let this cool for a little while because you don't want to cook the egg, but I think we're going to do this fast enough we're not going to have to worry about that. So oh, that's good. So we, uh, we got potatoes, yep. we got the egg in there. Well, well you're going to mash it all together at the exactly. same time. Oh, we're gonna I see. Add, we're going to add these greens with some scallions in here too. Yummy. And then this is a little bit of buttermilk. Okay. And then the last thing that we do that we add to this mix after we kind of mash it up a little bit. You see how easily it gets mashed up? Yeah. It's so tender that you can yeah, just use absolutely. a whisk for that. Huh? And then totally. you're kind of wilting the greens already with the heat of the potatoes. Absolutely. And so we're going to cook these one more time, and I'll show you how that works out too. But um, it's okay to leave them a little bit chunky. You want a little bit of body in there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add a mix of, uh, I've got baking powder and flour in here, and we're going to pull a, a Moira rose. Ah, oh, yeah. We're going yeah, to fold, fold it in, David. But how do you fold? <laughs> Just fold it in. Just fold it in. Fold it in. So, but uh, we get this really nice little batter here. And uh, what I like most about this, this is... This is easy. Yeah. Yeah, this is super so, easy. So, I mean, you don't want to agitate it too much. So you get a really nice Because you don't want it gluey. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. don't want it gluey at all. And then we've got grass-fed butter. Mm. From, there you go. From Kerrygold, yeah. Exactly. Yep. We've got so a lot gonna, of Kerrygold today. It makes me feel great. It's, it's, quite, it's quite the little endorsement totally. for yeah, Kerrygold. We like well, it. what's great about grass-fed butter is you got the omega-3 fatty acids. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't have the stuff that's going to clog your arteries. you got things that are actually going to yeah. help you out a little bit. And essentially what you do is you're just going to make, um, I like making these for cocktail parties as like a starter, like an appetizer, a little yeah. canapé. Um, but you can also Uncle Bucket. And you can put it in the huge skillet, you know, and you bake need it in the shovel. oven. Yeah, you can get you a gotta shovel. Get, you got to get the shovel right. to flip it. What'd you Absolutely. put on top of these, though? You should have so, seen the toast. I so these get are through the door. Exactly. <laughs> couldn't get it through the door. Um, so we've got, uh, we've got three really great options here, all of which are, are very Irish. So yeah. one of the things I really loved about visiting there and discovering things about the food was that Irish is a very, very sea, or Ireland is a very seafood-heavy uh, country. So a lot of places we went to had incredibly fresh seafood. I've got some smoked salmon on this one. Oh. You know, we're going with the traditional Irish American corned beef here. And then if you have vegetarian friends in your house or people who will want to stay away from meat, you can just do a little bit of asparagus on top. And oh I also gosh. made 
um, a horseradish and herb oh, cream cheese on top of that too. This is okay, you, ladies first. You choose. Well, you know I'm. I know you're gonna go. Yeah, I know you're gonna go. I love smoked salmon so much. Okay, we're just gonna pick it up and take a big yeah, bite. Yeah, is that how you do yeah, it? Absolutely. You really just kind of pick that. it up. Mm -hmm. Eat it with a fork if you want to. You can make a mess. <laughs> uh huh. I'm there, Big Mom. Mm. <laughs> JD, that oh, horseradish man. is so good. Mm. Yeah, really good, right? It's horsey, mm -hmm. and I yeah. like it. It's going to take you for a ride. It's <clears throat> really exciting. And with the smoked yeah. salmon on there, yeah. I got such a big bite, and I feel so good about it. I know. That is fantastic, fantastic. JD, JD. Thank you. You're a pro. We love seeing you. I love Thanks being here. Thanks for sharing those Thanks stories, so much. too. I need the so recipe fun. for that corned beef. Too. Yeah, right? We'll get it in there. <laughs> My God. You guys, go to TwinCitiesLive.com slash recipes, where you, you'll have this recipe posted there. What an easy meal. So big thanks to the Nordic Wear Factory Store in St. Louis Park for presenting our Monday Night Meal Series. If you're cooking for one or two, you need equipment that's just the right size, and you will find it at the Nordic Wear Factory Store. That's right. they got an assortment of compact ovenware that fits a countertop oven and microwave cookware for two. Mention Twin Cities Live during your visit and you'll get an extra 5% off your purchase. Okay.